I love anime. Yes, it's a medium and not a genre, but generally I tend to connect with the style of storytelling coming out of Eastern countries. That said, I do avoid isekais and harem anime, the main reason being that I really don't like power fantasies. Stories that feature a main character that obtains vast strength, power, or women without them doing anything to deserve it really don't sit right with me. They often feel like misguided therapy sessions for the writer, a chance for them to go back and beat up their school bully or have all the girls fawning over them. That may not be what's actually happening, but that's what it often feels like to me. And people can like those stories and more power to you, I just have a really difficult time connecting with them. So when I watched the trailer for Viral Hit, I was intrigued, but wary. The premise is pretty simple. You have a kid getting bullied at high school named Hoban, and one day he decides to learn to fight to get back at his bullies. The twist is that everyone in this show bows down to YouTube. All the popular kids and bullies have channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and are making $10,000 with every video. So Hoban decides to start a channel of his own, where he will fight his bullies and get that sweet ad rev. Now, as someone who boxes for fitness, and has a YouTube channel, I was gonna watch the show no matter what. I was really curious about how they would portray martial arts, and YouTube specifically, as I haven't seen much fiction tackle what it's like to be a content creator. But I had my doubts. You have a bullied kid getting revenge, making money on it through YouTube, and most likely getting the girl? The show could so easily fall into the power fantasy and wish fulfillment trope, completely avoiding having a meaningful story and characters. So when I sat down to watch episode one, I was cautiously optimistic, and I'm happy to report that optimism paid off. Let me tell you why Viral Hit is a fantastic show. If you've watched any of the other videos on my channel, you may have picked up that I'm a themes guy. I love when a story picks some themes to focus on and explores them from different angles. A great example of this is One Piece, which to me is a masterclass in exploring the idea of freedom. Viral Hit has themes you might expect, like bullying is bad and standing up for oneself. But its most compelling theme is how capitalism oppresses people how it forces them to fixate on money, and perhaps do things they normally wouldn't to obtain it. It's very Squid Game-esque, which tracks because both Squid Game and Viral Hit are South Korean in origin. So here we have Hoban, a soft-spoken and depressed high schooler getting bullied by the popular kids slash YouTubers in his class. He's also financially struggling, mainly due to his mother's cancer diagnosis. She's staying in the hospital, and Hoban is working a part-time job to try and help pay for the bills. His life is rough, and it feels relatable because it's due to things outside of his control that many people have faced. One day, he overhears his bully Paco reveal that he made over $200 just live streaming on their lunch break. This is huge to Hoban. That much money for so little work? I put in so much effort and I'm still struggling to live. Why does someone so cruel get rewarded? This is a great microcosm of Hoban's character conflict. Life is unfair, evil people can come out on top, but if making money is that easy, maybe I could do it too? I won't spoil how he gets there, but through circumstances, Hopin decides to start his own channel focused on calling out bullies in real time. By his logic, I get beat up every time I come to school anyway. If I can make money by getting beat up, then so be it. To me, this is incredibly dark. Hopin is so desperate to make money, he's willing to get humiliated and beat up on camera if it means he can pay his bills. He doesn't stand up to his bully because he believes it's the right thing to do. He's doing it because he needs the cash. As we progress throughout the show, we see that Hoban isn't necessarily a noble person. He isn't driven by justice for the weak or maintaining his self-respect. He's driven by money. He gets seduced by fame. He wants a cool jacket. And he wants his crush to think he's cool. I think if the writing was worse, Hoban would come off as very unlikable for these reasons. But in reality, he comes off as relatable. He needs the money to pay for his mom's treatment. He's not used to having any form of success, so he doesn't know how to handle it. His self-respect is so low because it got beaten out of him by a bully that just decided to start picking on him one day. So of course he's going to be awkward around his crush. Everything about Hoban's character has a purpose and explanation. And when it comes down to it, he is a good dude just trying his best. Of course, the way you showcase your main character is by having them interact with other characters. Take Snapper for instance. He's also at the bottom of the food chain. But instead of bowing down like Hoban, he sucks up to his bullies, working for them so he doesn't get beaten. Like Hoban, he's doing whatever it takes to survive. He's just using a different strategy. That strategy falls apart quickly, however, and his relationship with Hoban begins to evolve. Their similarities bring them together, but their differences show their uniqueness and how they can actually help each other. It's not the greatest friendship in anime, but it's effective. There's also Bomi, Hoban's crush. Now, I'm not going to pretend like she's a super well-written character. I don't even think she passes the Bechdel test. But her relationship with Hoban feels believable. He actually interacts with her, helps her out, and makes her laugh. 
Even though she's billed as the hottest girl in town that everyone has a crush on, I buy that she enjoys hanging out with Hoban. She's also used as a focal point in some of the comic books in the show, and while this could feel a little dambled in distress at times, it's nice to see her continued interaction in the story, as opposed to a prize for Hoban to win. There are other great characters in the show, and one that's not so great, but I'll leave those for you to see for yourself. Strong themes and interesting characters are things you can find in a lot of anime, so let's talk about what makes Viral Hit unique, its setting. The combination of martial arts and YouTube is fascinating, and they both provide different strengths to the show. If you've watched a sports anime before, you'll know that one of the most fun things about them is you learn a ton about the sport. You get in the nitty gritty on rules, strategy, and training, so that when you watch the matches, it's incredibly satisfying because you understand what's going on and what it took for the team to get there. Viral Hit employs a similar strategy, teaching about various martial arts like boxing, taekwondo, and Korean wrestling. But this isn't a show where Hoban is fighting in regulated matches. These are street fights. So seeing how these traditional martial arts are adapted for fighting someone in a classroom is really intriguing. There are also some interesting plot points about how MMA has influenced the world of martial arts, and how some have lost their relevance, but I'll leave that for the show to explain. And then there's a YouTube of it all. Viral Hit is the most detailed representation of YouTube I've ever seen in media, and I don't think it's close. There are discussions on content strategy, advertisements, video editing, channel collaborations, and more. There are even live comments on the screen whenever Hoban is streaming. We really get in the weeds, and as someone who's a big fan of YouTube, I loved it. My favorite thing, however, was how the mechanics of YouTube created obstacles for the characters to overcome. For example, a video has to be at least three minutes long to be eligible for ad revenue, but because his content is fights, Hoban therefore has to be strong enough to last at least three minutes in a brawl. If he gets knocked out in 30 seconds, he won't get a payout, no matter how many views he might get. In any action anime, the main character will always have to grow and get stronger, but I love that in Viral Hit, it's because of the mechanics of YouTube that this is forced to happen. There are more instances of this in the show, but needless to say, Viral Hit uses its setting of YouTube and martial arts to their maximum potential. Before I end, I want to briefly touch on the places the story goes as an appetizer for you. I've already mentioned it, but the show does a great job of staying grounded. This isn't a fantasy anime where Hoban will magically get a power up, he has to work and fight for every inch of progress. The realism also extends to the story progression. Viral Hit makes sure to provide logical reasons as to why Hoban keeps fighting different people. And of course, it's fun to see him learn new techniques and strategies for each one. The show also touches on some topics I didn't expect, like how fighting frequently can affect you, and even incel culture. They don't go as deep into these as I would have liked, but I still appreciated them nonetheless. And I just have to say, season one ends on a perfect cliffhanger. So there you have it. I had a great time with Viral Hit, and I hope this video convinced you to at least check it out. It's not going to win any awards for its art or animation, but I think its incredibly strong setting, complex protagonist, and commitment to realism make it something special. I'm also really hoping we get a season 2, as there's plenty more the webtoon is based on to adapt, and I need to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're interested in hearing about more hidden anime gems, and maybe some indie games or Asian music, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on threads, there I post about games, music, books, movies, anything I'm currently obsessed with. That's all for now, I'll see you next time.